Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I cannot get this intro right, I've been doing it about 15 times now. God, this takes ages. Just need to get it out. Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new video, I hope you're doing well. In this video we're going to be talking about the M1 Mac Mini. So I actually received my Mac Mini around two weeks ago now, and I've been using it since then, but when I first got it, I recorded an unboxing. So once I've shown you the unboxing, I'm going to uh, give you a little overview of my first impressions of using this, this computer so far. Spoiler alert, it's great. Like, it's really, really good. <laughs> but yeah, first, before we get into that, I just want to say thank you so much for the new subscribers that have joined the channel recently. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. We just passed, I think, 110 subscribers. I think we're on like 113 now. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that you're supporting the channel by subscribing, and I hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, I'm going to keep producing videos and creating videos on all kind of things to do with tech mainly kind of focus on the camera side of things and editing side of things, but let me know down below what you guys want to see from, from this channel because I want to make something that people want to watch. So as a subscriber, I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Before we move on, please hit that like button if you find that you do enjoy this video and um, hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to keep up to date with all the latest videos as they come out. But without much further ado, let's jump straight into that unboxing and show you what the Mac Mini looks like. All right, so let's start the unboxing of this Mac Mini. Um, this is the 16 gigabyte version, so 16 gigabytes of unified memory rather than the eight gigabyte version. I thought I'd upgrade just to make it a little bit more future-proof. And I've heard it's slightly important if you're video editing. I think it's gonna be most important if you're rendering out a video and also trying to create a thumbnail in Photoshop, for example. So things like that, I think, will come, come in useful. So I've not actually got a knife, so we're gonna see how much we can do with a pen to open this thing. Um, and let's see how we get on. So this is actually going to be replacing my 2017 MacBook Pro 13 inch. It's a base model uh, that, I, that I got with the, the MacBook Pro and it's just been really slow when I've been trying to do video editing and things like that. So um, this should hopefully be quite a nice upgrade for me, regardless of I'm using Premiere Pro or if I'm using DaVinci Resolve. I've recently decided to try and switch over to DaVinci Resolve because I know that that's Currently, the beta for that is actually optimized for this Mac Mini, so we'll see how we get on. I'll, I'll obviously be doing tests on Premiere Pro as well and seeing how this stacks up against my my 2017 base model. So there we go, that's the box open there. We've got this nice Mac Mini here. Let's get that sound in there. Little bit of ASMR for you. <laughs> okay, we've just got the back. Drop this all down here. And that is the Mac Mini there. There's not much more to this unboxing, to be honest. It's quite a, there's not much in here. So you've got your kind of paperwork. I think you've got a silver, I think it's a silver Apple sticker in here. Your silver Apple sticker there. There we go, yep, nice. So I'll be sticking that somewhere, don't know where. And finally we have the power cable. So super simple unboxing, nice experience. There we go, not too much to, to it. And that's all you need for a Mac mini really. So I've got my own Bluetooth keyboard and uh, Bluetooth mouse, as you can see in the background there. That's power cable, nice and simple. So yeah, I've got um, Logitech, I think it's K3, K380, I think it is. This is Logitech K380. And I've got the Logitech Pebble uh, mouse as well, which is good. So I do like these. I've been using these a lot with my kind of work setup and my own personal setup as well. And these are these are really nice peripherals, actually. Um, they work really well. So I've heard there's some Bluetooth issues with the Mac Mini. We'll see how that actually plays out. Um, I'm probably going to end up actually using the adapter here to, to actually connect it to the, the Mac Mini so that I don't have to experience any Bluetooth issues at all. And that's fine because I can use Bluetooth for my work laptop and that kind of solves that issue. Whereas this is purely Bluetooth. So we'll see how this gets on. I'll obviously report on any issues I have with this if, if there are any, because like I said, there have been some reported. We'll see how that actually plays out in practice. Hopefully I've not got one of those units that actually does seem to be an issue in that sense, but we'll just quickly have a look at the back of this. Uh, this Mac Mini, but focuses, yep. Yeah. So 
So we obviously have the, the power connector, we have a one gig ethernet cable, uh, sorry, ethernet connection rather than a 10 gig ethernet connection. People are worried about this because if they're using their Macs as, I think it's a server dump um, unit, then that's not gonna be useful. I'm not gonna be using that. I'm probably actually gonna be using Wi-Fi most of the time just because my router is downstairs. So we'll definitely see how the, the Wi-Fi plays out on this. We've got the um, really big grill uh, for the fan, which apparently doesn't make much noise at all and doesn't actually do much. So nice to have that, I guess. You've only got two USB 4 ports, I think they are, uh, rather than Thunderbolt. But So I'm obviously used to only actually having two on this anyway um, here. So that's not going to be much of a, a deal breaker for me. Um, I'm actually going to have more ports, as you can see by, by this here. We've obviously got your HDMI, so I don't have to use that when I with a a dock adapter to actually connect it to a, a screen, which is gonna be nice. And then we've got two USB uh, A ports, I think they're, they're called. So yeah, these ones and a headphone jack, which is nice. So this is actually gonna have more IO than my, my previous laptop, way more, which is nice. So that should be quite good. So what I'll do now is I'll actually go through the setup of this and um, we'll give our first impressions of how it feels. I, I'm not gonna do any kind of tests in terms of video editing, things like that. I'm just gonna have a quick look at the UI and see how it feels. So let's go on to that. All right, we're gonna set this up. So here we go. All right. Lovely. You like that sound? <laughs> so I've actually got a pretty terrible monitor here, to be honest. It's a, um, it's a gaming monitor and it's actually about four, four years old now, I think, probably. So it's gonna be pretty terrible for color grading and uh, things like that. So we'll see how some of the videos I come out with look. Um, oh. Okay, let's try and connect the Bluetooth keyboard. There we go, so we connected the keyboard just like that. That's, that's quite good. So I thought there was going to be an issue with that and I thought I was going to have to use the accessibility keyboard on this, um, but it looks like that's not the case, which is good. So you do have accessibility um, features basically straight away, which is nice when you're setting it up. So um, if you do have any accessibility needs, things like that, that's really displayed to you straight away, which is great. So. So I've tried putting the Wi-Fi password in and we've got our beach ball of death. Okay, now we seem to be connected now, which is good, but that was a bit concerning already. Just in the setup process, we've already got a, a spinning beach ball of death. So not ideal, not ideal. There we go, we set up the Mac Mini. Uh, I'm gonna finish this here at the moment because I've, I'm actually on my lunch at work and it's just about to finish. So. I better get back to it. Okay, so as I said at the start of the video, I want to give my first impressions of the Mac Mini, my use over the last couple of weeks as I've been getting used to using it, and my experience. So what's my experience been like? Before I get into that, I want to talk about some of the concerns I had when I was unboxing the video that I kind of mentioned. So let's address them first. So when I was unboxing the Mac Mini, I voiced my concern about potential Bluetooth issues that other creators uh, on YouTube have come up against. In my experience, I have had no issues whatsoever. As I mentioned in the unboxing, I am using a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse, the, both Logitech as well, where people have had some issues with the Logitech MX Master mouse and mouses and keyboards. So I was kind of worried because these are Logitech, so might have the same issues, but I've had no issues whatsoever with these. They've been, they've stayed connected and I haven't noticed anything anyway, so it's been good. I also use uh, some pr other peripherals. So I have my Beats Studio 3 wireless headphones. It'd be pretty bad if these didn't work with it because they are obviously made by Apple. They work absolutely fine when I'm doing some more serious editing, need to check the audio and things like that. I've not seen any drop off or any drop off when I'm listening to music, things like that. I also have a Bluetooth speaker that I use because the speakers in my monitor are absolutely mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> and the speaker in the Mac Mini is absolutely mm -hmm. shit. So, we're not using that. <laughs> so I would recommend if you are getting a Mac Mini, get some sort of audio device, whether that's a Bluetooth speaker, whether it's a plugged in, you know, plug in speaker, whether it's some headphones, whatever, it'll just make your experience a lot better. So moving on to performance, this thing is fast, fast AF, <laughs> let's just say that. You have probably seen a lot of videos from creators by now just singing the praises of this thing and how fast it is, and they're not lying, it's really fast. So where creators are actually comparing it to Mac Pros that are thousands and thousands of pounds. I'm talking about comparing it to a base model 2017 MacBook Pro 13 inch. And it just literally blows this out of the water. It's fantastic. Everything's just so snappy from, you know, opening apps to actually doing things like video editing. DaVinci Resolve 
it opens so quickly. Like it's, uh, you know, things like DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere Pro, if you've ever used them on Intel-based Macs, they just take so long to open and you're kind of just sat there on your phone, blah, 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 waiting for them to open before you can even start editing. And with this, it's just so snappy. It takes probably under 10 seconds to even open, to open an app and then, you know, with, with things like Chrome, for example, it's basically instant, it's super quick, where, whereas like DaVinci Resolve, yeah, around five, 10 seconds, which is still really fast for what they are. In terms of video editing, obviously I do quite a lot of that when I'm creating these YouTube videos. And my experience with the 2017 MacBook Pro was just terrible. It was, things were just so slow. Stuff like creating titles was just, so difficult you'd move the mouse onto the title and then it would all just freeze up for like a second two seconds three seconds even longer and you'd have to wait for that to happen before you could even put a title in with this it's instant you just put it on type it in as if nothing's happened it's just there you can move it around the screen as fast as you want anything like that there's no issues which is amazing so this is an even better experience for me because i'm coming from something that's terrible to start with whereas people who are using like a mac pro for example they're just coming to something that's you know, the same or worse. It's not gonna be better than a Mac Pro for a majority of things. So the actual editing experience, the experience of actually cutting, you know, color grading, adding titles, all these things, the little tasks that you have to do multiple times during an edit are fantastic. And, um, you know, rendering is a lot faster as well. So in general, video editing is just so much smoother and such a nicer experience on this Mac Mini than it was on my previous computer. It makes me want to create more videos, which is great. Okay, so multitasking. How does it handle multiple apps at the same time and intensive apps at that? It absolutely smashes it, uh, as you'd expect. It's, you know, you can do editing at the same time as making a thumbnail, at the same time as browsing the web on Chrome, which is a notoriously intensive app. And all these things, they just work. They just work. I don't notice any lag or slowdown or anything like that. So for a general user, someone who's not quite a super power user, but uses quite intensive programs like I do, then it's great, it's perfect. It's the perfect amount of power and for the price, it's just ridiculous. So I would highly recommend it for, you know, multitasking, things like that. On my, based on my first impressions, I'm not gonna give a final review yet, but based on my first impressions, it's, it's fantastic. So let's quickly talk about Rosetta 2. So Rosetta 2 is a translation software that basically translates Intel-based apps it translates their code into a language that Apple Silicon Macs can understand. And basically that means you can run any of the apps that you could run on an Intel base Mac on Apple software. I haven't encountered any issues with Rosetta 2 yet. Bear in mind, I haven't really had a chance to use that many Intel based apps. I've really been using mainly optimized uh, programs. So I've been using the DaVinci Resolve Beta 17, which is optimized for Apple Silicon, been using Chrome, which is now optimized for Apple Silicon, I'm using Lightroom and Photoshop, which I think they're in beta stage at the moment, and they're, I think they're optimized. If not, they've been working perfectly. Uh, and then Premiere Pro, which I've just been using the uh, non-optimized version. I think they've also released a beta recently for Premiere Pro, which is optimized as well. But Premiere Pro is the one that really stands out to me because I was using that previously quite heavily on my 2017 MacBook Pro and everything was just slow. It was so slow. Uh, didn't break a sweat on the Mac Mini. It's super quick. It's such a nice, smooth experience. And that's something I really appreciate because it just speeds up the edit so much. Um, and you've probably noticed in the previous video that I just had loads of stupid comments in my, <laughs> like in my video just because I could. Yeah, it just, it works so much quicker and the render speeds even on Premiere Pro, which isn't optimized, so much faster than the 2017 um, MacBook Pro, which you would expect from a brand new computer compared to something that is, you know, three years old. And so I'm not really surprised there, but it is such a nice experience to, to have that and just speed up that workflow so much. So I plan on doing way more videos about the Mac Mini, but I want to ask you guys to let me know down in the comments, what do you want to see from this computer, what are you interested in? I'll try and build that into a future video. Before you guys wanna buy it, then you want to maybe get someone to test that out. I can do that. We're on a, we're a small channel here, so your voice will get heard. If you wanna see something, let me know what it is and I can try and put it in a future video. A couple of videos I really am interested in doing is a direct comparison between the 13 inch 2017 MacBook Pro, because I think there might be quite a few people actually upgrading from an older base model uh, MacBook Pro or a base model Mac Mini, for example, that they want to see what's the jump in performance, how much better is this? That's something I want to explore because all I've seen really around the internet is obviously people comparing the new Mac Mini to 
something that's just ridiculous. So something like a Mac Pro, you're not paying anywhere near the same amount of money. What would you, you know? What kind of performance do you expect? So I want to see what the jump is from those base model older MacBook Pros, which I think a lot more people will be choosing this to upgrade because for me, it was the perfect price. It was a nice low price, but you get a massive, massive jump in performance. So that's a video I'm interested in kind of creating. Let me know your thoughts. If you're interested in seeing that in the future, that's something I'll probably be looking at creating. Another one, obviously on this channel, I do a lot of video editing because I create videos. So I want to give you my experience of editing in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. I don't have Final Cut Pro, I'm not really that interested in getting it, but I do enjoy editing in DaVinci and in Premiere Pro. So as I said before, please drop me a comment down below. I'd be interested to hear if you guys are planning on picking up an M1 Mac Mini if you haven't already. If you've already got one, what's your experience with it? I'd be super interested to hear your experiences as well and start a conversation down in the comments below. But on that note, if you are interested in picking up a Mac Mini, I have actually got some affiliate links down in the description. So if you want to support the channel and help me out a little bit, and if you're planning on buying one anyway, then please use that link in the description to buy it. I would really appreciate that. So thank you in advance if you do use those links. Please make sure to give this video a like if you did enjoy it and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of the future videos that I come out with. And also just to kind of join our little community here. I do try and respond to all the comments that you guys make and I really appreciate it when you do chuck a comment down there and start a conversation. It's uh, always interesting to see what you guys have to say. Otherwise, have a great Christmas if you're celebrating that. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then have a great festive period and have a great new year. And as always, it's been a pleasure. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.